there was a mother that was extremely frustrated and with the treatment of her daughter at a school. And I want you to hear, you know, what happened to mom, you know, took an action that, you know, really she shouldn't have, but I understand the frustration. Let's go roll that. That was never supposed to be that way. And I apologize for, you know, and I hope she recovers. And there's always a better way to, to handle stuff. And we were going to talk at the school to have a conversation. Sutton's mother says the anger Sutton felt stemmed from bullying that her daughter was facing in school and that it had gone unresolved. She's been slapped. She's been kicked. They've broken her glasses three times. Nobody broke in, because I don't understand burglary. The doors were propped open. They were propped open. Said, because they grabbed her, the security grabbed her. And I said, come on guys, let's all just walk out. I put my arms around everyone. I said, <laughs> she said, I can't breathe because they're squeezing me. I said, okay, everybody, let's just walk baby steps. Let's get out of here, let's go. And security, they walked us out the front door. The well, Syracuse City School District should be held accountable. If you're, your kid is being bullied and you, you're going up there, you're doing all the right things, you're asking all the right questions, you're going, you know, oh, and then all you ever hear is, oh, well, she's the problem, she's the problem. When you see a school not doing what's right by your child, if they, they're allowing your child to be bullied like that because, listen, they could shut down bullying at any given time through consequences and repercussions. It shouldn't get to the point that you're so frustrated that you want to go up to the school and box the teacher. It shouldn't get that far. And now this woman is dealing with criminal charges because of it. Black folks, you got to be, you know, to say this, I will pull my child out of that school and I will homeschool them until I find a school that will be better for my child. I'm going to protect my child physically and I'm going to check, protect my child's mental health. I'm going to protect both. And her going to jail is not going to help that child. Now grandma will have to deal with that issue because you know they're going to try to make an example out of her. They said because the teacher, from what I uh, read in uh, the report, is that the teacher, you know, has suffered a concussion and all of that. So I guess she beat her to the point she hit her head or something to that effect. So they're definitely going to make an example out of her, you know, with this situation. But I understand why she was upset because as parents, we do get upset when people treat our kids the wrong way. They keep telling us what's going on. Nothing is being done. You want to looking at the administrator, the principal, whatever. That's why I am not an advocate of public school. I'm not an advocate of it. And I'm not saying kids in private school can't deal with that either. But you know what? In private school, they got way more control and they can put somebody out and, and the state not going to make them go, uh, go back because it's private, right? I really believe it's better for our children to be in private schools. I, I've definitely seen the difference in having your child in a private school, in the area of education, in the area of what's just being allowed, especially if private schools is ran by us and we and having a spirit of excellence at those particular institutions. That's why I'm a firm believer of we should be supporting and wanting more uh, uh, people to build schools for our children in every major city that black people are in, like Chicago. And I'm not saying they don't have any. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we need more, like in Chicago or, or New York City, Atlanta, Houston, Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying Charlotte, North Carolina. You know, cities, it was named in Washington, D.C. Cities like this, we need a plethora of schools where you have a lot of black children. And I would say you need a, 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 a good black private school in every uh, a city that at least we're populated. But, but hey, you know, I'm just talking realistic. At least if we can have it in the major cities where a lot of us are congregating, that would be good. And, and I'm the type of person, I say this, Lord bless me with $100 million, I would love to be the guy that is financing the opening of, you know, private uh, schools for our children, uh, pre-K through 12. I, I, I would love that. I would love it and be private. You take no, we take no government funding. I don't, want, I don't even want you telling us nothing. And we're going to perform at the highest level, higher than, than in any other uh, school. That's what we're going to perform because our children, think about it, our children does do so much better when they're removed from, from environments where they don't deal with racism, white supremacy, and all the antics with that. That school-to-prison pipeline, that is through the public school system. I have not heard of no school to prison pipeline when they're in private school. There's no school to prison pipeline there. It's in public schools. And the public school system 
is based off of racism. Because, the yeah, I'm, they got some great public schools out there, but look at the zip codes. Look at them. Yeah, as long as you stay in that certain zip code in the, in the middle of the folks, yeah, you, your kids go to a great public school. I'm not saying every public school is horrible in the country, but we're going to be realistic. They cater more to people that with a higher tax bracket. I'm not saying they don't have some black folks in that tax bracket, because they do. But that's not the majority. And that's what I'm talking about, the majority. We need the majority in these good private institutions that's created by us. Are we going to be dealing with issues and problems like that? A lot of these kids need, need uh, counseling. A lot of these parents need counseling as well in our community. And, and our schools should, ha should have counselors there. They can, you know, schedule time, you know, uh, with, you know, professionals to talk about different issues, et cetera. You know, we, just like we need grocery stores. We need hospitals. We need banks. We need uh, uh, clinics. We need all these different things. In, in black America. And trust me, if we work more on opening those things, we won't have the, trust me, we can literally cut down racism out of our life to almost 75 to 80% out of our life if you do what I'm saying. And, and don't let the folks say, well, isn't that like segregation? I don't care what you say at this point. Because we tried, we tried that with you. It's not segregation. We just want to make sure that we're taken care of. Because when black women go to hospitals, look at, look at the mortality rate for black women when they go in with babies. I guarantee you, you have a black hospital. That won't happen. Because black people know black people and black women know black women. Black people be in pain, they won't give them medication. Oh, you faking X, Y, Z. But a white person badly flinched and they, oh, here you go. The way we can prevent all that, at least we're gonna stay here is that we gotta do for ourselves and build our own. 